Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Lisa Aldridge lipsticks. These are brand new shades for holiday 2022. I decided to get one of the lipsticks as well as the eyeshadow palette that I tried the other day. Um, I have already put up a review of that, so do go and check that out. I'm actually wearing the eyeshadow again today. It's nice, it's very subtle, but I have been enjoying it. I have to say, I've been enjoying it on. It feels very natural. I feel very natural and lovely and low key and pared back. But but I'm also missing some kind of grr. Um, but I'm, I'm enjoying it, it's not too bad. Would I buy it again? That is to be decided, I don't know yet. But if you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe, we'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. So I think she released five or six, but I am gonna be testing them out for you guys today. I'm also swatching them all in store and swatching all the palettes in store as well. And that's gonna be available in this week's vlog. Vlog 67, I believe. That's the second time I've said that without checking. <laughs> that is very bad. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing a review on one of the lipsticks I got. The only lipstick I got. The only lipstick that was really singing to me. And the minute I heard her describe it, it sounded completely up my street. I'm going to be doing swatch comparisons as always. I've got a lot of mauve nudie lipsticks. And this apparently is a mauve nudie lipstick. So for holiday 2022, as she does as she does with every single holiday collection, Lisa Eldridge has released some new lipstick shades for her true velvet range her matte lipstick that is one of the best matte lipsticks around it is creamy it is pigmented it glides on it lasts a really good amount of time it's really gorgeous to use it's really comfortable to wear it doesn't feel drying it feels totally hydrating it looks impeccable they are just sublime she released five new shades i believe the shades that she released that are new are velvet duchess velvet pompadour velvet rain Velvet Enchantment and Velvet Sorcery, which was the one I got. That one just spoke to me. She said that this is a bewitching medium dusky clay rose, which borrows a little cool toned mauve magic from the 90s. The indie it girl of the true velvets. Saturated and highly pigmented lipstick with a beautiful true velvet effect. Formulation is a creamy hydrating matte with a slight sheen. It's not a flat matte. The color is long wearing and non drying on the lips. And when I swatched it in store, I was equally as excited about it. I just watched all of them, they were really nice, but the Velvet Sorcery was, was the one for me. So this is £26 and 36 US dollars. So they're not the cheapest, but they are really, really worth it. It's all just about finding your perfect shade. I love the formulation, it really is sublime. So I'm really excited to find some more that are kind of my bag. I like a kind of nude, I like a kind of brownie, nudie, movie nude. That is my happy place. I'm gonna get it on before I lose the light. I'm gonna show you the packaging, show you some swatches, and then I'm gonna get into a demo.
So guys, those are the swatches on. I actually really like the look of this, but it's a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be in my head. It looks like pretty much a dupe of the Rare Beauty uh, lipstick, but I think it's ever so, ever so slightly lighter. It's really hard to discern between the two, but if you look at it for long enough, that it looks like it is ever so slightly lighter. It's richer than the Dior one, which is kind of good because I don't really necessarily want two of the same thing. It's also not very far off at all. It's very close, but also a little bit lighter than the Pillow Talk Intense from Charlotte Tilbury, which I do like, but I find it a bit rich for me. It's also sheeny, glossy, satiny, so I don't wear it that much. It's also weirdly not too dissimilar from Meet Me in Berlin, even though Meet Me in Berlin is much more brown. It is in a similar family. It's just not as brown as that. So it looks interesting on. It's not as light as I thought it was going to be. thought it was going to be a lot closer to the two, the 300 from Dior. It's not really, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad Thing. As always, the packaging is gorgeous. It is her classic white and gold packaging with the Lisa Eldridge logo on it, which I always really like. So this is Velvet Sorcery. It is a kind of mauve brownie nude, and we are here for it. I love the look of it. It looks gorgeous. I'm going to get this on before I lose the light. I'm going to try it on without lip liner. Then I will take it off and pop it on with a lip liner. So that is it on its own. I actually do really like this on its own. It's really pretty. It's not a shade I would probably wear without lip liner just because I'm not that like jazzy. I do like to have that brown lip liner to kind of ground me a little bit, but I think it is really pretty and it's really nice on. So I do like that a lot. That's it without a lip liner on. I think it's nice. It's very punchy. Really like that actually. It was a bit surprising. It was a bit more plummy than I actually thought it was going to be. A bit more mauvey than I thought it was going to be. But now I'm going to try it on with some lip liner. As always, my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense. So that's the shade Sorcery on with a lip liner. I actually really, really like that. I think it will work for a lot of eye looks. Obviously my eye look right now is quite subtle, but it's also quite bright and a lot brighter than I would usually have it. I think if I was to have like a nicer chocolate, more chocolatey eye, I think this would really sing. I absolutely love it. As always, they're really gorgeous formulations, really great pigment and very comfortable to wear, which I can't say for every matte lipstick I have um, by any stretch. So I do really like the shade. I do much prefer it with lip liner. So guys, Guys, that is it. That's my finished look. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Will you be buying anything? Will you be trying anything? Do you have any of these? Do you have any of the new shades? Are you intrigued by sorcery? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.